That flag represents freedom, and I'm willing to die in the name of it because freedom is the very thing that makes life worth living. Uh, I hate it. It represents systemic racism and the oppression of all non-heteronormative cis white voices. All other countries are way better off. Like, do you have a lighter so I can set the thing on fire? After I got out of the military, I've had my hands in the dirt farming so I can support my family and help build a better community. Uh, yeah, I got my degree in gender studies where I discovered I'm a semi-trans, demisexual, neurodivergent, non-binary, gay, they who only dates women. And I'm an author now. I've written a book on how fetal racism can be solved through abortion. And my book's written entirely in braille to be more inclusive to the visually impaired community. I do 12 to 14 hour days doing backbreaking work so I can contribute to a better world around me. And you know what? I am proud to do it. Um, this one time there was a college professor that didn't state its pronouns before starting to lecture. I was so uncomfortable that I started to cry and shake. People had to help carry me out of class so I could find a safe space to process in. Then I raised enough awareness about its hateful conduct that I got it fired. Is very proud to do it. I have children and I work diligently to instill great values into them while treating all other people with kindness. I demand that other people that I don't like change and if they resist I treat them with ragefulness. With the wars I fought in it's all been about preserving democracy. I have put my life on the line fighting for it. Countries around the world that don't have free speech, rights, or freedom in general have communism instead of democracy. They want to spread their evil ways to the U.S. I just think free speech and freedom in general are very dangerous and we'd be better off without them. So I spend a lot of my time fighting these things. And you know, we've never really tried communism the right way. Well, during the war, being shot at scared me a little bit. Microaggressions terrify me. I went over and fought in the war so my family and my country could know freedom because that's what I believe is right, which means bravery is always standing up for what you believe is right. Oh, I stand with a current thing every time. Going along with what I'm told to do is way braver than thinking for myself and risking having a point of view that might make me go against the herd. Well, all men are created equal. It's taken our society a while to realize this, but Martin Luther King Jr. has it right when he says, judge a person based on the content of their character, not the color of their skin. Literally everything's about race. And Joe Biden's living example is that you should judge a person based on the color of their skin, not the content of their character. And he's white. So black people should listen to him when he tells them what they should think. Um, yeah, we need more censorship because words are the same thing as violence. Literally the most dangerous thing I can think of in the entire world is misinformation. It's fun to imagine what our future will be like if we can install more censorship now. It's what Hitler did to take over a country and damn near the world. Infringing on free speech is always the spearhead of evil and destruction. But the idiot people over in Germany thought he was using censorship to save democracy rather than destroying it, because that's what he told them. So they actually supported it. Why would you ask that question? Even a two-year-old knows what a woman is. Please, just answer the question. Right, well, a woman is someone who has babies, raises a family, and if you want to get technical, it's someone with two X chromosomes. like. I mean, you don't have to be a biologist to know what a woman is. We literally don't know what a woman is, but I think also at the same time, anyone can be a woman who wants to be one, but I, I don't know for sure because I'm not a biologist. You're responsible for everything good or bad that happens to you. So work hard, do something that contributes to a better world around you, have a family, be in service to God, and take self-responsibility. Go to college so you can learn to be an activist. Oh, and also demand that someone else pay for it. And then once you're out, don't work hard because that's just oppressive. That's why we need socialism. Do something to destroy the nuclear family, have a few abortions, be of service to the medium, and always make sure to victimize yourself over things that have nothing to do with you. Living according to values that keep me in service to God and make the lives of the people around me better. Destroy what you don't like.